Welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. Joining us now are Sarah and Jason Wolf Cool with Lone Pine Farms. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Great to have you guys on the show. We're ex ex especially excited to talk to you guys about uh, a tailgate season. I know we're all looking for our delicious meats and beverages and snacks that we can have for our games coming up here this season. And you guys have some of the perfect options. Mm -hmm. So I want to talk about uh, kind of what's going on with Lone Pine Farms. I know I was recently on your guys' Facebook page and you guys have pork in stock. Yes. So yeah, what's all available? What's going on? So we carry about 40 different cuts of pork. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that we do run out of quite often is bacon. So that's when we say pork re <laughs> restock. We want to make sure everyone knows we got yeah, the bacon. Yeah, set out the alarm. Come on yeah. down. Get the bacon today. Yep. And so with tailgater season going on right now and football games and stuff, we've created a tailgate bag to offer guys to have more variety of pork mm -hmm. products and stuff Ooh. they can take to the game. Mm -hmm. So. Wonderful. So, uh, ex uh, how, are, like, as of right now, how in stock are you guys with the pork, with the bacon? Is it ha does it go out pretty quickly? Yes. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yep. It goes. It goes quick. So, mm -hmm. we carry a belly bacon, a shoulder bacon, a loin bacon. So we have the variety, but it still goes quick. That's okay. Uh, that uh, sounds good. I think people have to follow your Facebook page to keep up updates when you guys are fully in stock again, because we got plenty more Chiefs games coming our <laughs> yeah. way this season. We're going all the way to the Super Bowl. I, I just know it. I can <laughs> yeah. feel it. Uh, what else do you guys have to offer if someone isn't interested in pork and bacon products? So we carry um, eggs mm -hmm. and beef and also Alma cheese as well in our Ooh, store. Okay. So we raise the chickens for our eggs, so they're farm fresh eggs. Mm -hmm. And it's really been a hit for us. That's wonderful. Yeah, like I would say, well, what's some of the most popular um, items people are coming in for? It's always the pork. It's always the pork. <laughs> always the pork. I believe it. Like there really is no replacement for a good bacon. Nope. And <laughs> our habanero mango brats and breakfast brats. Ooh. They've been our Philly cheese brats. How many brats do you tell me more about the brats now, sir? <laughs> <laughs> so our breakfast brat, it's taken off like crazy. So yeah. it is a. Egg, bacon, hash brown, onions, peppers, and cheese, and a pork sausage brought. Wow. And so you could eat it for breakfast mm -hmm. or for dinner. Either one. Okay, I need to try one of these. <laughs> yes. I need to head out to Lone Pine yeah. Farms coming up here soon to get one of those. Mm -hmm. That sounds fantastic. And you guys have some other great stuff going on. If you want to check out the farm, the Cop Valley Farm Tours is starting up, correct? Yes. Yeah, tell us a little bit about your participation in that program. So Saturday, October 5th and Sunday, October 6th is going to be the Cop Valley Farm Tour. We're one of 39 farms participating. And these are just two days where people can visit different farms and see what they have to offer mm -hmm. and s learn more about where their food comes from and different animals and flowers and there's all different farms on the tour. Wonderful. So what will they be able to um, see for you guys on Lone Pine? So our storefront will be open. Um, our pet pig lady will be out front. You can visit her, pet her, feed her. She loves treats. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, we also weather permitting might be doing a hay rack ride mm -hmm. around the pigs we normally don't allow people around our pigs due to buy security but everyone will stay on a trailer yeah. and get to see them from a distance weather permitting wonderful it sounds like it's going to be a great time over at lone pine yes. and I, I want to talk about a little bit of the history of you guys now because it's a, a family business right correct yeah uh, tell us a little bit about uh, the history of lone pine real quickly so I am sixth generation of Lone Pine. Oh, wow, um, six, okay. My family came from Germany in the 1860s, and we're still on the original home location. Um, so we've always farmed, and my grandfather raised hogs from 1970s to 1990s and had a meat store, and I decided in 2021 I wanted to bring it back. <laughs> That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, yeah, sounds like that was a great choice if you yeah. guys have to keep yeah. announcing, oh, we're in stock again. Come on <laughs> yeah. down, everybody. Yeah. But, so great move right there. I mm -hmm. cannot wait to try one of these broths and some of this bacon you guys mm -hmm. have to offer. And also, I saw um, the sunflower fields have been going on this summer. How's that been going for you guys? It's been good. Um, they are starting to turn. Mm -hmm. Um, there are still a few blooms left if you are driving by. It still looks beautiful. It's still pretty yellow, but <laughs> unfortunately they are on their way out. That's that's wonderful. When do they usually bloom? I'm not a, a sunflower expert. <laughs> so um, we always plant them as a second crop because 
obviously our first crops are our livelihood. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. <laughs> um, so it really just depends on Mother Nature and right. when we can get that first crop oh, out. Okay. And that's, that's fun, that though. Sunflowers in. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm great that you guys are able to offer that kind of secondary crop where, it's, you know, the, the picture is people yes. come down, get some food, get a couple of social media pics that we were here. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a wonderful experience that you can have at Lone Pine. Yep, and the great thing with the sunflowers as well, we'll harvest them mm -hmm. and then we'll bag them and have them available as bird seed. Oh, ooh, wonderful. Yes. Man, so. you guys are just... <laughs> Every angle, I'm yep. absolutely, I'm so impressed. I love it. Uh, and also with the holidays coming up here now, anything we should be kind of looking out for you guys, for like Thanksgiving and Christmas or so? Kind of, I, everyone's always looking for a good meal. Yeah. So a new <laughs> thing we're bringing in, um, coming here soon, is spiral cut hams. Mm. We've never had been able to offer that and. It's going to be a big hit, I have a feeling. I think so. I think that'll be mm -hmm. a big hit. And it come any <laughs> more Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving yes. meals, Christmas. Mm -hmm. That's going to be fantastic. Mm -hmm. We'll definitely keep an eye on that one. Well, Sarah, Jason, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Mm -hmm. It's been an absolute pleasure having you guys on the show. Yep. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you. Of course, everyone, to learn more, you can visit LonePineFarmsKS.com.